Today in PA is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. April's a month of pranks, but these renewal deals are no joke. Buy any window, patio door, or entry door and get the next one for 40% off. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. No April Fools. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com for more information. The state Supreme Court has heard arguments concerning gun manufacturer immunity during a lawsuit over a young boy's death. Meanwhile, lawmakers are taking a closer look at water privatization. Over 40 aftershocks were felt after the earthquake. Plus, a Pennsylvania native won big at the CMTs. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. In 2013, 13-year-old J.R. Gustafson was accidentally shot and killed in Westmoreland County by a friend who gained access to a gun he thought was unloaded after its magazine was removed, reports the Tribune Review. Gustafson's parents later filed a lawsuit against the manufacturer of the gun, accusing the company of negligence and liability for the sale of a defective firearm, claiming it shouldn't have been able to fire without the magazine, although the suit was later thrown out. The manufacturer, Springfield Arms and Saloon Department Store, cited the Federal Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act, which grants gun manufacturers immunity from civil litigation, such as when a legal weapon is used to commit a criminal act, with certain exceptions. However, superior court panels in 2020 and 2022 ruled that this act was unconstitutional, and on Tuesday, after Springfield appealed this ruling, a state Supreme Court heard arguments on whether it prohibits the Gustafins from suing the company. Further information regarding this case remains pending. State lawmakers on both sides of the aisle and regulators are taking a closer look at water privatization, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. Act 12 was supposed to help improve the state's water and wastewater systems that were, quote, urgently in need of repair, unquote, via a fair market valuation process when it was passed in 2016. Fast forward to today, and now some state lawmakers think companies are taking advantage of Act 12 by marking up this valuation, as well as prices, before passing them along to shareholders. Take Pennsylvania American Water, for example, who announced last year that it planned on collecting another 200 plus million dollars from customers just under a year after its last hike. Some suggestions to address this issue involve implementing a kind of cap on valuations and legislation that would spread out increased costs to ratepayers over time. 43 aftershocks occurred after that earthquake the other day, states the Philadelphia Inquirer. None of them, fortunately, were damaging. Only one of them, actually, which happened on Friday as well, registered above a 3 magnitude, meaning they were all generally, quote, weakly felt. Warren Ziders is a country music singer who took home the Breakthrough Male Video of the Year award during the CMTs on Sunday, says Penn Live. And he's one of Pennsylvania's own, no less. Ziders is a Hershey native who became famous covering tunes on TikTok. The song the video which won him the award was for, by the way, is Pretty Little Poison. That's all for today. For more news, check out penlive.com. Also, please remember to rate this podcast wherever you may listen to it and to email me at todayinpa at penlive.com too. Thanks ahead of time. And of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro and I'll be back again tomorrow for another episode of Today in PA. Today in PA is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. April's a month of pranks, but these renewal deals are no joke. Buy any window, patio door, or entry door and get the next one for 40% off. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. No April Fools. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com for more information.